Good morning, students. Students, this lesson is of class 10th for the subject of physics. Topic Numericals of Exercise 1A. Children, you may all open page number 11 of your physics textbook titled Concise Physics by Selena Publications. Children, before starting the numericals, first of all, I want you all to learn a major concept which will be required in all the numericals of this exercise. As we have already discussed that the whole weight of a uniform rule acts at its center. Last time I have explained you that if you are having a scale, you can balance your scale when you keep your finger at the center of the scale. Why so? Because the weight of the scale, scale was uniform. So whole of the weight of the scale is acting at its center. So students, the center of mass of a scale is lying at its center. So if you pivot this center point, or if you balance, fix this center point, then the rule will be said to be balanced. Why? Because whole of the weight was occurring to be concentrated at middle point. So you, when you balance this middle point, what we are doing when we are balancing, when we are supporting this middle point, that means we have supported whole weight of the rule. So thus the rule will be balanced. But children, sometimes it can occur that you are placing some extra weight at any of the side, any of the edge of a rule. At that point, see, suppose in first figure, the total weight of body was 50 Newton, which was acting at the center. It was the mass of the weight of the square. But if at point A, I put some extra 30 Newton weight, no doubt the rule, the weight of the rule was 50 Newton, which is acting at center. But now there are certain weight also placed at point A. In such situations, children, the pivoted point will shift. The balance point will be shift near the edge where you are placing the weight. Now the pivoted point is not at center as it would have been at the, in case one, the pivot point was at center. But now the pivot point has moved towards A we are, where we are putting extra weight. Similarly, in third figure also, if I am putting extra weight on the other edge, that is B, then the pivot point will shift from C towards the edge B. Children, you can do this activity. What you have to do is you take a scale, First of all, balance on your middle figure. And then you can put your eraser at one of the corner. First step was you take a scale and in the on the scale, whatever is the center of the scale, keep your finger below the center. So what you are doing? Children here, the scale was having complete weight at the center and when you placed your finger you balanced the complete weight. Now next you put an eraser at one corner. Now you're 
uh, your scale will not remain horizontal rather it will bend at the edge where you have put the eraser why so because now there is some extra weight at this place and thus you have to shift your finger from center point to towards the side of the edge where you have placed the eraser so this concept we will be using in the numericals also so children now we are ready to start with the numerical part of this exercise as we have already done first eight numerical now in this chapter in this video we will start with numerical number ninth so children coming to ninth numerical what is a numerical number ninth saying let us read the question so a uniform meter rule first word is meter children in 1 meter how many centimeters are there so in ninth question first of all you say that total length of the rod is 1 meter that means 100 centimeter so let us start drawing the question side by side a uniform meter rule so a b a uniform meter rule of side of length 100 meter 100 cm sorry it's 1 meter 100 cm balances horizontally on a knife edge children knife edge means it's an instrument to balance it is instrument like you were having your finger to balance instead of uh, uh, your finger we are putting a knife edge to balance so knife edge is placed at 58 cm mark so children originally what should be the place of entire weight of the rule it should be at the center let it be c at point c we should have entire weight of the rule or the scale meters rule that should be at the center and what is the center what do we mean by center it means that it should be half of the length ab so ac should be 50 cm while your knife edge your pivoted point is at 58 cm according to the given question so i'll make it here this is point p and point p is at a distance of 58 cm according to the given question now the question is a uniform meter rule balances horizontally on a knife edge placed at 58 cm mark when a weight of 20 g force is suspended 20 g force is suspended from one end so children the question they are saying is that pivoted point is at 58 cm when you are placing a weight of 20 g force from one end they have not told you which end a or b but i have told you earlier before starting the numerical children i told you that pivoted point will shift towards the side where you are placing some extra weight so what does it mean it means that this 20 g force is placed at point b so since we always show weight to be acting downwards thus the extra weight we are placing it at 20 g force 
children if this pivoted point would have been 42 cm from a if in the question this this question the pivoted point would have been at 42 cm then your extra weight should have been placed at at point a originally if there is no weight if we are having no weight then pivoted point should coincide with the center point is it fine if there is no extra weight we are having only a scale or a rule or a uniform rod then your pivoted point should be at the center of a body but if in the question they are saying that pivoted point has shifted or it is not placed at the center then that means you are having some extra weight placed around the around that specific corner of the rod i hope this is clear so the question in this question first part was we have to draw the diagram children in the diagram you have to mention the distances also now let us write down the distance distance a to c this diagram needs to be made by a scale so the distance a to c is given to be 50 centimeter and distance b and c a to p a to p so i hope you are able to see a to p i am showing it with blue color so a to p is 58 centimeter now children before doing numerical the second part is what is the weight of the rule so we will write down according to principle of moments according to principle of moments of force comma if the this is the condition if the body is balanced if the body is balanced then then we will say sum of clockwise moment should be equal to this you have to write down in every part sum of clockwise moment is equal to sum of anti clockwise moment so what is clockwise and anti clockwise moment what it will be so first of all how to do this children whatever is the weight turn it towards the pivoted point start turning it towards the pivoted point make it dotted similarly 20 gram force also make it dotted so 20 gram force is clockwise this force is acting in a clockwise direction while weight of the rule is acting on a anti clockwise direction so sum of clockwise moment of force that is force multiplied by what was moment of force what was the value of torque force into perpendicular distance or distance from the pivoted point so i'll write down 20 gram force means g multiply by what is the distance between b and p write down first of all bp and in anti clockwise moment we will be having mass of the rule acceleration due to gravity and the distance taken will be cp here not ap it should be cp so 20 cancel this g with g so 20 multiply by bp bp is how much find this can i say it is 100 minus 58 and then m into cp that is 
58 minus 50. Children, what is CP? Just see. This was A to P was 58 and this is 50. So what is CP? 58 minus 50. So you calculate here and you'll be able to find the mass of the rule. It will come 105 grams. But children, we have to find weight of the rule. According to the question, we need to find weight. So how to write down weight? Weight will be, if mass is 105, what is weight? So weight is 105 gram force. So kindly note down this, draw the diagram carefully. 